The day has come. Californians line up to cast their votes. Candidates of local races began their day early. We started the day up in Palmdale. Uh, we had a great canvas kickoff with a bunch of volunteers and supporters going out knocking those last minute doors. Christy Smith joined college students at COC as she waited in line to vote. My daughter's a student here now. I used to work here at the college, so I'm so excited that this is my polling place and I get to be here this morning for this really great day. Coming towards the final day of the race, candidates feel at ease. At this point, uh, you know, I kind of get a zen uh, on election day because I know that I did everything that, uh, that I could and uh, I trust the people of Santa Clarita uh, and uh, I am very comfortable with, uh, with the decision I think they're going to make. Regardless of the final count, Smith feels honored to have been a part of a very important election year. It's exciting. It's been a lifelong goal of mine and to be on this ballot with potentially the first woman president of the United States is very exciting and I think what we're going to see as a potentially a wave election of our really diverse community coming out uh, and voting this time around. It, it's a great election to have been a part of. Brian Caforio feels thankful to have the right to vote. You know, this is the most important step we can take in our democracy. Uh, you get to stand up every, you know, two years, four years, whatever the case may be, and show uh, with your voice what direction you want the country to take. For Cougar News, I'm Briseida Holgan.